and all my brothers and sisters hope you're doing well hope you're having a blessed day what I want to talk about is the fight and we've talked about this before the fight for your mind the fight between good and evil the fight between the flesh and the spirit remember Jesus said to the apostles when they were praying that the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak he said to pray because of that our flesh is weak our bodies are made to sin but the fight between good and evil is a fight is the fight excuse me for your mind for your body and your soul and the devil will love nothing better than to destroy you remember the Bible says he walks around like a roaring lion seeking whom he could devour who he, who he could destroy and he does destroy many through addiction through lust through many different ways of turning you against God and turning against his word but the good that you fight him with the good that you fight all these demons with is that word of God remember Jesus was tempted by the devil and what did he do he used scripture to turn the devil away we must use scripture to turn the devil away as well if Jesus did it well, he must certainly do it remember the Bible also says we do not fight against flesh and blood but powers, principalities, and forces of the darkness, which are spirits. And these spirits look to take you out. These spirits look to shut you up. Now the way to fend these demons off, fend these, you know, well, they're angels. You know, Satan is a beautiful angel. But the way to fend this off, any addiction, any loss in your life, anything that you're going through. And again, let me tell you something. You're not perfect, and you never will be perfect until the day that Jesus makes us like him. The, the Bible says we'll have a body like him. For this incorruptible, for this corruptible, I should say, was put on incorruptible. Our bodies will be incorruptible. They will be like him. But the way to go about this, the way to fight this off, is to truly let God handle it. And that is, that is by praying, that is by reading scripture, that is by giving the devil the word of God. Jesus is the one who could take this away, but only when you let him. Now, we do not give Jesus the power, we do not give him the ability to do it. He sits and he watches. And when we try to fight things on our own, through ourselves, it will never ever work when you try to beat an addiction by yourself and say you know what today I'm gonna to stop it never work it's when you let the mighty hand of Jesus the mighty power of God do it and he wants to do it remember he says cast all your cares upon me because I care for you my yoke is easy and my burden is light Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God is just, it's Him. The Word, the praying, the faith, it's all Him. So if you're struggling with something today, and a lot of us did or are, whatever that may be, let it go. Let it go. And know the fact that you cannot defeat it. You cannot defeat it. If you think you can, you will take all the glory from God and you will fail. God is the one that can take it away. God is the one that can defeat it. God wants to defeat it for you. But until you sit back and tell him, Father, I'm done. You take it. Leave it at his feet. And truly leave it at his feet. You will never stop whether it's smoking, gambling, drugs, fornication, pornography, the list is endless, whatever it may be. Let Jesus fight your battles because he wants to. Now, it might take us a long time to truly feel that, truly understand that. But think about it. The only way you could stop sinning is to admit you can't stop sinning. Because we, when we admit 
that we cannot stop sinning, that will open the door. And again, we will sin till we die. I'm not going to sit here and say you're going to be sinless because there's so many channels that say that. But God can take away something. But He will do it. Not you. Not you. Remember, the devil will do anything to throw you off. Anything. And when we don't put our faith in God, when we try to do things ourselves, whatever that may be in life, we fail. Now people say, well, Rob, how can believers, non-believers, I want to have this, they have that, do they? Do they have everything? They don't believe in God. What do they have? What do they have? The devil is the devil is totally dismantling them because he's he's got them down to the down to the floor, saying, "Okay, you're done because you don't even believe in God. I don't even need to attack you. I'll attack the ones that are out there on the front line." God is your redeemer. God is your armor. God wants to fight for you. But if you do it on your own, God will sit back and watch and say, okay, go ahead. And you know what we do? We try to do things on our own and we fail. My brothers and sisters, I love you. I make no mistake about it. Jesus Christ does love you more than anything. And he wants to take on your fight. But for so long, we don't let him and we try to do it on our own. Tonight, I would let him do it and sit back and say, you know what, Lord, you got this. This bill, you got this. This pain, you got this, whatever it may be. And remember, we do not understand his mind. His ways are higher. When you go through something, we will, and we scratch our head and we're like, what the, what the heck is going on? Why, am I, why do I have to go through this? And there's always a purpose. We're not smart enough to understand everything. His ways are higher, his thoughts are higher. Our brothers and sisters, I love you very much. I want to thank you all for watching. We all have a blessed night.